What's going on, everybody? It's Ghost Robo, and we're here to play the savior of Xbox Series X. The medium is like Microsoft Spider-Man. If Halo Infinite is their God of War equivalent, then this is their Spider-Man, or maybe their Last of Us. I don't know. I feel like such insane expectations have been placed upon Bluer Team, and this game, it's gotta be great, or at least I hope it is. We're gonna check it out together. I got an early build, and I'm excited to see what it's all about. It releases on January 28th. Um, it's supposed to be scary. It's supposed to blend two worlds together. Two worlds, one fantasy. That's a Phil Collins song from Tarzan. But this, hopefully, is two worlds, one horror, but also awesome. Hit that like button if you enjoy and are excited. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let's dive in. of a headache and here we are ready to go can you activate insight oh follow the footprints on the floor see what neva has in store i can't control the camera btw i'm just sticking it right now and uh, we're following the breadcrumb trail into this large building to see what's going on our character is in theory, a medium, or experiencing <laughs> the medium. Yo, yo. Psychological thrills and chills. Oh, hello? Let's take a call. Hi. Find the echo. Where? Oh, there's the echo. Hey! I'm here. No, there's definitely something. Trust me. You made the right call sending me. Yes. It's only a matter of time. Okay, Even so. the objects here had auras. When I touched them, I could sense their stories. Huh. Words, images, feelings left behind. Almost like a Life is Strange type vibe right now. That's kind of interesting. Um, I believe this takes place... A little bit into the main story, about an hour in. But hopefully it gives us a good sense of what exactly we can expect. I believe it's coming to Game Pass as well. Um, so if you have that, you'll be able to play for free, or I guess for the cost of your Game Pass subscription on launch day. Hello? Anybody in there? Locked. Obviously. There's gotta be another way. Now, I obviously realize, just like she realized, that there's gotta be another way and that it's locked, that this game, you know, it, it's not supposed to be a humongous title like a, you know, a God of well, War. I've already proven my prowess as a dumpster climber. <laughs> but Microsoft has mentioned Shit. it. The handle's missing. Every I I time. With something. Every time there's a freaking presentation, every time there's a anything, what is that? It's like a little thing on the ground. You see that? Can I have it? There's also a dot up there. Can I get up there? Ah. I think there's a broken window up there. Huh. If only I could reach it. But but they have touted this as like, oh my gosh, this is our exclusive. And anytime I read anything about Xbox Series X, it's like, well, they have the medium coming. Uh, and it's put a lot of pressure on the game, which, you know, maybe it'll live up to it. That would be super awesome. But I, I feel like the standards have been set much, much too high. Like, this game can be a cool, fun time, and it doesn't have to, like, rewrite the history books for Xbox. Like, 
Microsoft needs to go grab some other games on their own. Like, they really do. Halo Infinite coming out in the fall is just not enough. And now that they've increased the price of Xbox Live by double, um, it would be really great if they had some interesting titles to make it worth it. There's an arrow this way, so let's go down here. I had no idea that this game was going to be so... There's also an arrow over here. So, like, explorative. I thought it was mostly like a survival horror run in... Avoid. Neo Resort, summer of 1969 inauguration. The first secretary of the Polish United Workers' Party honored and took part in an official inauguration. All right. Hmm. Interesting. So we're looking for some sort of handle. Wow, there's just a lot of ways you can go. Is there a sprint button? Yeah, there we go. Huge parking lot. Anything on the car? It's a very battered hey, world here. Oh, hey, look. Now, what's a fine machine like you doing in a place like this? I appreciate that this girl Doubling talks to cars. Their bedroom, apparently. Oh. Groundskeeper's postcard. Honest work. My love, summer in full swing. The resort is stuffed to the gills. And you know what that means. More work for yours truly, but it's good work. Honest work. Mr. Rekowitz said he'd like to keep me on. Can you believe it? I won't screw this up. All right, a little story building there. Um, can we steal this lever? I don't mind if... Oh. Pop your trunk. Let's pop... Oh, pop the trunk. Grab the screwdriver, maybe? But we will take it. Although, this could come in handy. Oh, there's combining weapons. We got some, like, Resident Evil-style puzzle. Ow! Shit! Yeah. What the hell? There's butterflies, clearly, to help us decide where we need to go and what matches with what. I want to see more of the eerie action when the worlds collide. And there's a unification of hell and happiness. Well, I don't know if I'd call this happiness. It's more like hopelessness and hell, which is kind of dire, but let's get inside this resort. Maybe there'll be a pool or a spa or something we can, we can enjoy. All right. Put the screwdriver in, thank you. Yeah, very Resident Evil-like. So began the great dumpster heist of 1999. Can we slide this back? Oh, we're gonna push this here to climb up on that window. Good thinking. Now, this build I'm playing is on PC. I'm starting to get tired of your shit, Neva. Um, it does have ray you tracing. Better be worth it. Although I don't have that turned on, um, just so that I could capture it. Uh, I have it at 60 frames per second. I, I picked that as opposed to having, um, you know, supreme visuals. But it will be on PC. It will be on Xbox. The Xbox uh, Series X family, whatever they're calling it these days. Where are the spooks? There are the spikes, but where are the spooks? Like an abandoned, I mean, it's a resort, but it kind of also looks like a railway station. <laughs> this is what it's like when worlds go We're gonna get some like super heavy metal music as the freaking Tower of Sauron appears again. I do like her fuzzy jacket, though. That looks comfy. Alright, so this is gonna be very good. Oh, a man's shoe? There it is. Oh, an echo. What happened here? Well, this shoe has seen a lot. <laughs> It's true. The Neva Massacre. I need to find this Thomas guy and get the hell out of here. All right, detective. We will do that. Nothing else to look at? All right. Um, this door going to be open, Sesame? No. Very prescribed environments. Almost Hello? like with the, with the change of perspective, the set scenes. Anyone? Kind of gives you like Thomas, you there? In a weird way, like David Cage, Detroit Become Human type vibes. Ooh, the Duckling, my favorite book, Polish Legends, The Dragon of Wobble Hill. 
It's kind of cool. I like that they're staying true to the, the culture of the area. Hotel main entrance, lobby, reception, elevators, pool. There is a pool and a sauna. Okay. We weren't, we weren't too far off there. Can we get into the back room? There's some noise buzzing. What is that? Oh, it's the, is it the radio? I don't quite know. None of these doors are really that useful. Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. I will say, it, it looks okay, but I don't think it looks stunning. But it is an early build, so maybe there's more than meets the eye. Like, like once they run final passes and whatnot. Like, the character model just looks average to me. But I think the world bleeding and world bending is what's supposed to be really the main draw here, so. Uh oh. Somebody spies us! Hello? Thomas? Come on, Tommy. Oh my gosh. For whom Easy, the bell tolls. Marianne! Just a good old fashioned haunted hotel. Do 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 Pixar, come on now. We ain't playing games here. Okay. It's like nothing is near and yet... Ah! Whoa. You startled me. I did, didn't I? You look real scared. <laughs> I I'm sadness. One arm clown girl. Marianne. Sadness. Is that your name? I mean, you seem pretty cheerful to me. Well, it's what I remember. Um, my friends used to call me by a different name. But I don't remember what it was. Your friends. Oh, yeah. I used to have a lot of friends here. Uh, but, but they're all gone now. Did something happen to them? Mm, uh, uh, I, I don't really want to talk about it. That, that's okay. So, do you live here? All by yourself? <laughs> you wouldn't believe how boring it gets sometimes. I can imagine. This place must have been... Oh, yes. So busy. People coming and going all the time. <laughs> Always someone to play with. Must have been nice. It was. Not anymore. So... Tell me. What happened? Uh, I, I remember. People stopped coming. Uh, only a, a few of them stayed. But they became very sad. Very angry. They might hurt you. <laughs> Thanks. But I can take care of myself. Hey, I was wondering, have you seen... Mary Ann? <gasps> yes. Well, would you play with me? Just for a little while. It, it, it's been so long since I played with anyone. Oh, okay, okay. But I need your help first. I'm looking for a man, Thomas. Do you know him? Uh, let me think. Uh, I've heard that name before. Uh, Take your time. Uh, oh yeah, 
The second floor. We can look there. Come on. Hurry, oh, Wait. I can't go that way. somehow. The dueling worlds are pretty darn interesting. The fact that it takes shape not only in the cutscenes but in the gameplay as well. Like, It's like you're playing two characters but one. Instead of split controls, it's split graphics that have gameplay implications. So like, you know, one Marianne can walk up the stairs but the other cannot it's blocked so very very intriguing as we ride the tide between old and new the elevators let's see hey. and do they work over here An elevator oh as well see if it works let's see if we can get to the second floor this way very very odd sadness i wished i knew her real name well, we have a play date later. You can ask her in a few. It kind of is making me think of eerie memories of... Okay, Marianne, just take a deep breath and... Spooky... Well, not spooky shows. Like, Grandpa's Toy Box and uh, Big Rock Candy Mountain were supposed to be spooky, but, like, kind of, like, really overly cheerful kids, and that's what that sadness girl reminded me of, like, those shows that I saw when I was, like, four years old. Out-of-body experience. Oh. Go. Oh, I can just be this Marianne. And try to there. fix things. A fuse box. Uh. Need some energy to spark it up. So this is gonna be where the puzzle solving takes place, like the horror Where's exploration that? puzzle solving. It's like kind of like horror life is strange is what it really makes me think of. Um uh, she can't go up anymore, but it looks An like there's out of body experience. Interesting. It's like taking a plunge into nothingness. Stay under for too long and it just pulls you in. Okay. It looked like there was like a magic... Didn't it look like there was like a magic podium over here? Yes. What is this? Is it a fuse? Okay, Marianne. Now get your ghostly ass back and power up that up. Oh, maybe I'm like... This is like my... My energy. I don't know what that was. Okay, I think I'm dying. Okay, I think I need to go back to my body. Hello? We can't hit anything. Okay, cool. So we gotta go back to out of body, and then it's gotta be a quicker get. Stay close to Jenner, then hold RT, use Spirit Blast, and release- Okay, wow. Oh, I must have just acquired that. Okay. Okay, we powered it up with an internal command maya. Interesting, okay. Now we return here, we hit it again. Wait, okay, we could, we opened the door. Do, 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 Kind of creepy. And that's the map. Huh. Look out below. Where doth one go? I guess up to floor two, where we need to be. All right. This is super interesting. I haven't, I haven't seen anything like this, so. That alone makes it appealing. It's weird playing split screen with yourself, although I am a fan of lowly co-ops. I've done things of this sort before. Okay. Now where did she go? Where is the girl? Where is the Thomas? Okay, you are here. There's the, probably the manager's office, I'm guessing, which is that green down the hall. Right? Oh, no, she went that way. Well, then we'll follow her. Okay. Creepy. Creepy. Huh. What is don't touch the bug. <laughs> yeah. Please don't be part of the weird witch ladies from Resident Evil. They're bug mamas. Oh. Okay. Not getting through here. Can we spirit blast it? Yeah. We're, we're not gonna spirit blast it. Interesting. Eventually, maybe we can. More bugs! Oh! Ah. Spirit shield! Holy shit! 
I didn't even know I could do that. Interesting. This really does feel like a Life is Strange type title. It really does, and I was not expecting that at all. Into the bug world, away we go. Grab a key that is old as snow. Alright, so we're gonna go back, I'm guessing, this way. Back to this ooey gooey door. The bugs are coming. Any spirit shield? No? Okay. Use the key. Open the door before the bugs get us. Alright, both people can walk in. This is good. This is good. Uh huh. Can we crawl through here? No, but we're. I can focus on the spirit world. Oh, interesting. We're looking around. What are we looking for? Focus on the material world. Alright, so this really shows you how the game merges the universes. Interesting concept. Okay. Just kind of, I guess, a little like trick of the trade there. Huh. You'd think there's something we want to acquire from this room. Perhaps it's in the bathroom. Let's see. Oh, it's a path deeper. Oh. Uh. Wait, child footprints. She went this way, but that door is closed. Alright. Oh my god, goodness. A telephone? Another one of these? Where is the echo? There it is. Yes. I'm working on it. Yes, I know. I just... Yes. I understand. Just give me some time. A few days. You get what you want. Ooh. Ugh. That voice. I don't know why, but it gives me shivers. Cause he sounds like he's executing some experiment on Grogu or something, and we don't we're not about that life. Looks like the only way. We gotta go down what? down to go up? Okay. Into the Oh I don't like What's that? Yeah, can we not creepy crevice it? Oh, no! I was just starting to get really hooked. Okay, so this is interesting. There's probably going to be way spookier stuff than we just saw. But I'm fascinated by the stylings of the game. It doesn't seem to be totally next-gen in terms of the visual presentation, but I'll wait to play it on Series X to see. And I really love the merging the two worlds. It's like playing split-screen with yourself, but instead of across characters, it's across parallel universes, which is pretty interesting. What'd you guys think? Are you pumped for the medium? Should I play more on the 28th? Let me know in the comments down below. I am glad we got to check it out together. Something new, finally, here in 2021. Uh, it's been a while, so thanks so much for joining me. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay smart out there. Make sure to drink so much chocolate. And until next time, everybody, I love you a lot. We'll see you all later.